Oh yeah. Puff that hard. And one more time that's so satisfyingly. Oh, hey everybody. I've been working out and something's been pulling me in and now I look like a pumped up cool dude. You like what you see? Because I'm so, so glad I got the urge to go to the gym. I'm getting really handsome here. This place is a handsome factory. So if you want to be like that, start working out and you'll be super cool. By the way, we should go see Mikey. I thought we were going to go out together. It's been so long since we've been out. Oh, look at me. Every time I look at myself, God, I can't get enough of my beautiful muscles. Well, I got to go to Mikey's. I guess if I go now, I'll be there at the time of the meeting. It's not a long walk that way, so it's a not long way. So goodbye, Jim. I'll be back tomorrow or the day after. Well, it's a good thing it's not leg day today or I wouldn't be able to walk this far. It's exhausting even for me. I got to get my legs pumped up and here's Mikey's house. It looks, well, cool. I hope he goes out for a walk and not like the last time he slept through a meeting. Then I started going to his house to meet him. Hey, Mikey, open up. I'm here. God, come on. Get up already. Stop sleeping. Well, here we go. Yeah, hey, JJ. I just came down the stairs for a long time. I didn't sleep. You okay? Uh, Mikey? Yeah, what's wrong? You look like a balloon, just incredibly fat. Uh, I don't know. When was the last time you went outside? I went out to the store for food yesterday. Dude, you're eating burgers and ordering takeout. Am I right? Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe I'm too lazy to go to the store and I order food from home. But look, I like to eat good food from McDonald's and so on. What's wrong with that? I don't mind the fat. So it's fine with me. You should try them. They're delicious. Do you know how many fast calories are in them? They all go into your stomach and make you fat. It's good food. But it won't make you a jock. It'll just inflate you like a balloon. I don't know. And I don't care what's good, what's cheap, and what's available. Those are all factors that I like and I put first. God, okay, so what? Are we going to go for a walk or uh, can't you get through the door? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I didn't know what my friend ate so much. You shouldn't eat so much, guys. It's not healthy. Yeah, yeah, JJ, making fun of fat people. You're so witty. Okay, sorry, but you really look like a truckload of meat. It's a little, you know, unhealthy. Yeah, but as you can see, I don't feel bad. I'm full of energy and I'm pretty good. So I don't think it's working for me. Well, so I'm hoping for, so where we is. This way. Moments later. And then I started going to the gym and I got so badly toned that now I look so, what I look like now, I like it a lot. And that's why I think the gym is cool and everybody should go there. It's the best place I've been in my whole life. Ew. Okay, you've been saying that for like forever. Ever. Yeah, it's cool. But you know, I don't want to sweat and work just to look a little bit better. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> look who's fat. God, he looks ridiculous. <laughs> uh, we seem to have a problem. Oh, God, JJ, help. Oh, God, JJ, help. Ha <laughs> ha, chubby. Oh, this is a very bad situation. How did you get out of the house? Jump out the window. You can't get through the door. God, I didn't do anything to you. I'm fat. And what do you have to do to make fun of me now? Hey, guys, I think you're mistaken. I'm going to kick your faces in. What? Who are you? You think you're tough? I'm a friend of Mikey's, which means I'll defend my friends, even if they're wrong. You're gonna get your butt hit. Are you sure you want a sequel? You guys are going to get it. Take it. Sha! Oh, Jeremy? Holy my... What'd you get? Happy now? Which one of us is the cool guy now, huh? You're such a douche. Get down, swine. Once again, you guys are wrong. Holy cow, JJ. What are you looking at? You want to touch the ground with your face too, huh? No, 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 no. Get up and get out of here before I put your hands in a place you won't get them out of for a long time. All right, all right. I'm sorry. We're leaving. Sorry. We made a mistake. That's the way to deal with them, JJ. Yeah, what are you doing? up. Boo! Get out of here. I'm so sick of dudes who just hit on random people. I hate those guys. You've been cruel to them, JJ. You've got to be. Imagine how many people they've caught and beaten up like that. That's what I'm talking about. They stand around all day picking on people to mock them. I don't like them. They're lowlifes who don't deserve what's coming to them. And they're only picking on me because I'm fat, which is rude. It's a uh, wow, look at what chicks. What? Uh, whoa, whoa. Hey, chicks, would you like to meet us? We're a little, uh, out and about. Wouldn't mind hanging out a Little. Oh, wow, you're so handsome. We could hang out. Oh, hey, 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 you look amazing, too. Oh, you don't mind meeting me, too? I'd like to go out with you. I'm just going out. Hey, like I said, this body is attractive because it's been working out 24-7 at the gym. Well, yeah, you look incredibly beautiful. Call us if, well, yeah, when you're alone or your friend's just nasty. Hey! Uh, uh, okay, girls, you look like supermodels, too, so I'll call you. Hey, why don't you call me when you're lonely? God, Mikey, stop scaring people away. It's awful. What? What did I say? Is he always this obnoxious? Gross. Okay, we're gonna go. You call me when you're alone. Handsome if you have something. Well, yeah, thanks for the number. I'll, uh, I'll call you when I get home and I'll, uh, I'll call you anyway. Hey, what was that? So violent. What am I so mean? Well, yeah, dude, they obviously didn't like what some fat dude was saying to them. But on the other hand, yeah, it was rude. Man, I don't start something to be rude when someone looks very pretty. Although maybe they are also insulting me. Well, yeah, okay, well, okay, I don't even know what to say. Well, come on, let's just go to McDonald's. All right, let's
let's go. I hope they have something on sale. Yeah, I think something's gonna happen. Something's getting sad. Oh, come on. There's bad luck in life. And like, well, yeah, meeting rude girls isn't the worst thing that can happen. And what's the point of Three hours later. Look, if you like being like this, then it's your choice. And anyone who says you're nasty and so on can go away because it's your choice. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Oh, come on. I'm definitely right. Oh, wow. Look, McDonald's, there's a burger eating contest. Take away. Hmm. Prize diamonds. Wow. You sure you can eat a lot of speed burgers? You can make a lot of money. Oh, my God. 999 diamonds. Whoa. If you win, you're going to be the richest fat guy in this town. Dude, this is your chance. God, I have to win this contest. Will you come with me? Uh, you know, I'll just stand here. What? So the bad guys don't come in and get some air? Wait for you. Fine, whatever. When I get out, I'll be your richest friend. Yeah, come on. I believe in you. You can win super easy because you've been practicing eating burgers for a long time. Hey, why don't you want to come in? You know, I don't want to go off and start eating everything. So hopefully he'll win and get super rich and that'll cheer him up. And it's like he can eat them in seconds. So he's got a good chance. So guys, even if you're depressed, don't be sad. It'll pass. Start pumping. It'll help. Five minutes later. Friends, do you like eating burgers? Write about it in the comments. I think this food is a bit unhealthy. I wonder if Mikey might even explode from eating so many burgers. Oh, there he goes. Look how happy he is. Oh, yeah. I won that contest so easily. I ate my delicious burgers and made a lot of money. JJ, you can congratulate me. And you said there's no benefit to being overweight. Uh, congrats, man. But it's still not cool to be fat. You don't understand anything, JJ. I'm super rich now. I ate good food and made money. There's no negatives. Uh, okay. Oh, what are you doing? Here's some diamonds for you. Buy yourself some food so you can be as fat as me. Uh, thanks, but why don't we go to my house and play something? That's a great idea. Let's go. I hope you have some food at home, or I might get hungry. What? Didn't you get enough of those burgers at the competition? Uh, I don't know. I could eat a little more. Oh, my God. There's my house, and you know I won't give you a crumb of my food. It's not a big deal. I bought myself some more chips to snack on. Seriously? Oh, my God. You can fit a whole mountain of food in you, Mikey. Come on, JJ. A few chips won't ruin my figure. You have no figure at all. You have a perfect circle instead of a belly. It's really beautiful. No, it's not pretty. I think we have a problem. Your door is too small. I can't get inside your house, JJ. Ha ha ha! Mikey! It's not the door that's small. It's you that's too fat. That's not not funny at all. <laughs> no! Ah, what did you do? Stupid door. You were supposed to make the door big, not small. Mikey, you broke my door in a piece of wall? Who's gonna fix it now? I don't care. The important thing is that I got into your house. You're gonna make my house cold. Oh, come on. Stop whining. Let's go play on your cool computer. Oh my god, what happened here? Who broke the door so hard? Mikey did it, my fat buddy. By the way, Mikey, meet TV woman. We go to the gym together. Wow, she's such a beautiful girl. I was going to ask when today's gym work out is. Uh, tonight. I'm gonna go there too. We'll work out together. Okay, JJ. I'll be waiting for you. We're gonna lift 300 pounds together. It's only 300 pounds? Really? That's too little. Oh, maybe you and I could go on a date. You're a very pretty girl. Uh, on a date? With you? Really? Oh yeah, I'm handsome and so are you. We're gonna make a great couple. I think that would be a bad idea, Mikey. Uh, am I too good for you? Uh, no. You're too fat and ugly. I'm not going out with someone like you. JJ, bye. See you at the gym. Uh, that was rude of her. Oh my god, she did didn't like me because I'm fat. Yes, you're very fat. It's not a problem. I fell in love with her very hard. I'd do anything she wants for her. Uh, really? Anything she wants? Yeah, I could give her a bunch of money, eat a thousand more burgers, anything. You need to lose weight, Mikey. That's the only way you're gonna be a good-looking guy. Uh, you're right, but I don't want to lose weight. It's too hard. But I will lose weight for my baby girl. Guys, are you overweight? Write about it in the comments. All right, let's go to your gym. I'm gonna be the biggest, baddest athlete Ever. Oh, yeah! And here's my gym. I'll be your personal trainer. Losing weight really isn't that hard, Mikey. Oh, yeah, I'll have the same muscles and the same bushy beard. A beard? I don't think so. Uh, okay. I can live without a beard, but I definitely have to lose weight to date a pretty girl like TV woman. Great attitude, Mikey. Get ready to lose pounds of your fat and get healthy. Oh, yeah, but I need to eat a little first, so I have a lot of energy. Okay, you don't need this thing anymore. Chips are bad for you and make you fat. I want to eat one last meal. Give me my chips. No chips, Mikey. You've got to do your exercise.
exercise and forget about junk food. Forever, really. But I can't give up my favorite chips and burgers. That's what makes you fat. But it's that treadmill that will make you thin. Oh, God, I hate running. I get tired really fast when I run. I don't care that you don't love. Start running. I'm your coach. Oh, I shouldn't have started this whole thing. Here we go. Four to six days later. Hey, guys, would you like to become more muscular? Write about it in the comments. These days, I've managed to turn fat Mikey into a super muscular dude. Mikey, come out of the gym. Hey, everybody. I'm not fat anymore. I'm super hot. Oh, yeah, look at him. Now all the girls will be his. Now we're two handsome, pumped up guys. Now the TV woman will fall in love with me as soon as she sees what I've become. I'll be honest. Getting that pumped up in four days is not that easy. Which means I'm tougher than you. Now I won't eat burgers, chips, and go to the gym every day. That's really cool. I'm glad you're getting into a healthy lifestyle now, buddy. Being fat was very bad for your body. Oh, there's your lady. Oh, what, Mikey? Is that really you? You've gotten so big and muscular. Oh, yeah, baby. I've lost a lot of weight. Now I'm not fat. I'm handsome and cool. That's the kind of man I really like. You said you wanted to go on a date. I'll agree to that. Oh, so soon. I like that. All right, JJ. I'll see you at practice tomorrow. Thanks for being my coach. Oh, yes. That's the kind of boyfriend I really like. And you're the best girl I've ever met in my life. Soon I'll be fat again and you'll never leave me. Huh, what? Fat again? Uh, that was a stupid joke. Ignore it. Mikey does that a lot. Looked like she was a little scared. Okay. Thanks again for your help, buddy. I owe you one. Go get your girlfriend. And I'm waiting for the wedding invitation. Honey, it was just a stupid joke. I'll never be fat. Okay. I still love you, sweetie. Guys, like this video. Would you like to go to the gym? <laughs> Write about it in the comments. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, the weather was nice today and I decided to take a walk in the park and eat my favorite fries that they gave me for free at McDonald's. I love it so much. It's so good, I've been eating it for the last week and it's so good what it's like every time. It's the best food I've ever eaten. And I'm like, you're just weak! And I lift a ton of weights. <laughs> you're so cool. Wow. It's easy, I've been working out what it takes to lift heavy things. I hope you show us how you do it sometime. Hey Mikey, hey what's up? Uh, what? Oh, it's you JJ, Gez, you're so fat! Yeah, and you have a good day too. Oh, who's that? He's so fat. And this is my buddy JJ, who's incredibly fat because he eats a ton of fries a day. So what's the big deal? What's wrong with being fat? I just like french fries. You look awful. You see, even just the sight of you scares them. Yeah, he scares me too. He's so fat. Ha ha ha, girls, don't worry. He won't eat you. He just can't catch up. Ow. Mikey, actually, I could quit eating french fries and get nice and slim again, and your ridicule isn't funny at all. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. We just don't like fat people. You should think about what other people feel when you start calling him so. Watch the upset fat man, run home. <laughs> God, what a toxic person. When Mikey gets in trouble, I'm gonna laugh at him and see how he likes it. They came and started laughing at me because I'm fat and I just said hello to look decent. Five minutes later. Oh, I finally made it home. I'm so out of breath. Yeah, when you're heavy, it's a little harder to walk. <laughs> I hope we have something to eat at home. I got a little hungry on the way over. I shouldn't have thrown fries at Mikey. It wasn't nice of me to do so, but he was hurting me, so I defended my honor. But it wasn't a good idea. The fries was delicious. There you go. Oh, Dad, I'm going to tell him what happened. At least he'll be supportive. Who made this fireplace? Why is it so uncomfortable? Hey, Dad. Hey, I'm back from my walk. Oh, JJ, you can walk? <laughs> mm. Come on, so what's the walk? So I met Mikey, and he started making fun of me for being fat and clumsy. Hey, well, he's got a point. Dad! What? You're really fat. You should lose weight. Being fat is bad for your health, and it makes you really awkward. Just because I'm fat doesn't mean I should be called clumsy and fat. It's not pretty, and I don't feel bad just because I'm fat. It doesn't work that. You know you don't notice it now, but over time, you start to notice little things that affect your body. I, oh, thank you so much. Looks delicious. So hungry, by the way. What the, what is that? It's your new diet. Very healthy vegetables that will help your body deal with the weight. But there's nothing wrong with me. JJ, you're getting fat and it's bad. Trust me, it's not a normal body condition. You need to eat this. Trust me, it's delicious. It's green. And so what? It's disgustingly cold, okay? Now I'm being poisoned because I'm fat. What a day. Everyone tries to prove to me what it's bad to be fat, but they don't even try to support me or ignore it. I don't want to eat it, and I won't. It looks disgusting. JJ, if you don't eat it, you're going to be fat and a laughing stock, and it's better for you to eat it. I don't care about the opinion of others. I only listen to my own opinion, and I don't want to eat green grass like something cow or other animal. I want normal fries or meat, fried tasty and fatty, because it's tasty and healthy, not your disgusting diets. Everyone's turning against me because of my weight. Jeez, it's just awful. The next day.
I'm finally in the school cafeteria. There's so much food and so much to eat. I love eating here because there's something really different and delicious to try. Look at all this food, and it's all free while you're here studying, so I'm very happy. You can pick whichever one you want from these delicious buns. There are so many, I don't even know what to get. They all look pretty tasty. I'd have to make up my mind. And he was like, no, don't take my money. <laughs> and you, oh, look at this fat guy. Wow, what's a pair? Let's get to him. Uh oh, oh no. Hey, 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 you're fat one. You're probably eating somewhere else, right? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> you heard, well, yeah. Well, then you got extra money, huh, to go there. Well, I don't have any. Bad answer. <laughs> no, you don't get it. We don't ask you if you have money. Bring it here or you'll get your fat face kicked in. Hey, leave me alone. I'm not giving you anything. You'll get it. Hey, JJ, what? Did you eat all the buns at the cafeteria again? Well, of course. Look at him. I think he's even fatter since the last time we saw him. Why are you guys doing this? Does it feel good to hurt someone? Oh, look at him. Now he's a philosopher, too. Come on, philosopher. Tell us why you're so fat. Maybe it's his nerves. He's so nervous what he eats nonstop. Or just lazy. JJ, you've never exercised, have you? What makes it hard for you to even get off the couch? I may not be as athletic as you, but that doesn't give you the right to humiliate me. I'm a human being, and your words hurt me, too. Haha! <laughs> Come on, guys. He's kind of stiff. You can't get anything out of him. Yeah, thank you. So what a horror. They came just to spoil my mood and ran away after realizing that even at three, they couldn't handle me and just started calling me names. Poor people. Now I'm not even in the mood to eat. I'll go for a walk. Maybe I'll find something interesting. It's so bad after those villains. Maybe go home. School's gonna be over soon anyway, so I can play on the computer. <laughs> what the, what's the laugh? A fitness gym? Hmm, looks like someone's in there, maybe peeking. It's not pretty, but I'm not doing anything wrong. Unless it's a locker room, but uh. Wow, Mikey, you're so cool. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. What's going on here? Wow, Mikey's so strong. Yeah, girls, look how strong I am. You're unbelievable. I like you. Wow, just because he can lift a huge weight, he is loved by so many girls, and I am not loved because I look like a fat guy and have a big weight. So what is unfair? Am I worse than him to pay attention? Or maybe my character is worse. I always try to treat everyone nicely, but apparently it is not appreciated, and everyone likes only a stylish body, and no matter what kind of person you are. So what kind of people? They'll regret being friends with such people when they turn out to be dishonest, greedy people who think only of themselves. Oh, and this is the computer class. Like and subscribe. I like it. They tell me something about computers and what you can do with them. It's a great class, and the teacher here is cool too. I'm so sick of being here. I'd rather go somewhere else. I'm in such a bad feeling. Just awful. Three hours later. So what a day. You just think it can't get any worse and then it rains. What's next? I hope nothing because it's already horrible that it's raining so much that I can't even get home. Not that I really want to, considering that they're trying to get me to start eating weed diet. Yeah, so hmm, I don't know. Today's not my day. Hopefully when I get home, I can at least play on the computer and it won't be so late. I don't know what else it could be. Hey kid. What? Why are you sitting there so sad? Did you have a bad day? Well, kind of. Tell me about it. So what started out as yesterday my friend Mikey made fun of me and the girls for being fat. Then they tried to feed me grass at home. And today some kids laughed at me and picked on me because I'm fat again. So I'm not having a good day. Hmm, I know what you mean. I used to be like that. What? But you look so pumped. And you can become one if you come with me. I'll be that pumped up? Yeah, I can help you lose weight and get as fit as I am. I'll help you. Wow, unbelievable. I agree. I want to get as fit and healthy as you. I'll do what you say. It's going to take a lot of work, but you'll be happy with the results. You'll be loved and no one will laugh at you anymore. So where are we going? To my gym, where you can get really strong and tough, I promise. Wow, you have your own gym. Sure, let's go. I earned it. Yeah, sure, I'm coming. And so, how... Look, JJ, I used to be just like you. I was fat and insecure, but I decided to change my life. I bought this gym, I started working out, and this is the result. I'm pumped up and strong. Did you? Were you really like me? Absolutely. I even had a nickname, Donut. <laughs> but you know, that all changed when I got a grip on myself. Okay. You can, too. Trust me, JJ, you can lose weight and get super cool and pumped up. The important thing is to not give up. But it must be really hard. I don't think I can do what you do. Sure, it takes effort, but I believe in you. You're not alone. I'll be there to help you. The important thing is to get started. Come on in. I'll show you some exercises. Thanks, Jock. I didn't think I could do it, but now I see what's possible. You're right. The important thing is not to give up. That's right. Together, we can do this. Grab
grab those dumbbells and start lifting with all the anger of what's in you. Okay, now I'm loaded. I'm gonna be super cool for sure. So I'll take this one, huh? Four to six days later. One, two, three, four? Come on, JJ, you can do it. Ten, I did it! Look at you, JJ. You're becoming a real super strong JJ. I didn't think what I could do. Thank you, Jock. I couldn't have done it without your support. Good for you, JJ. You put in a lot of work and effort. I just showed you the way, and you followed it. Now I realize what I can accomplish if I don't give up. Thank you, Jock. You helped me become a such cool. Now no one will laugh at me because I'm super pumped up like you. Yeah, the main thing to remember is that with great power comes great responsibility and so on. Like, the main thing is don't worry and don't be bad. Okay, thanks. I'll remember that. Okay, cool. So, uh, good luck. I gotta go. Okay, good luck to you and thanks for everything. Yeah, you too. Wow, what am I supposed to do? Brag to Mikey or find those bullies? Now they'll all see how cool I am. What I'm cooler than them. And now they won't laugh at me. They'll want to be friends and learn how to be like me. Ooh, what a beautiful girl. Maybe I'll make friends with her. Hey, pretty girl. You want to be friends with me? Take a little walk, etc.? Wow. Well, I don't know, but you look so handsome. I Come on, I'm a tough, pumped up, I'm not a bad person. All right, well, I can walk with you and go to your place. You look like a good boy. Great. I'll show you where I live. It's a cool house. I got a lot of stuff lying around that you can play with. Wow, you have a house. Cool. Let's go to your place. Yeah, sure. I hope you like it. It's beautiful up there. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I'll show you how I got to be this cool, pumped up kid. Yeah, I'd love to see you work out. Cool. And then we can eat something delicious like french fries. I love french fries. Oh my god, I love french fries so much too. Let's go to your place. Oh, okay. My house is that way. We can take it slow while we get to know each other. So, you like fries too, right? Oh yeah, I love it too. It's so good, but you can't eat too much of it. <laughs> yeah, but you can if you was... You're pumped, you need it. Moments later. Ha ha ha, wow. I didn't know what could happen. You're so smart. It's unbelievable and strong and smart. While I was working out, this is my house, by the way. It's beautiful, right? Right? So while I was working out... Yes, he's very handsome. I listened to some smart books that would help you with everything. Wow, like what? Like different sciences and stuff. That sounds so smart. You're unbelievable. Yeah, like I try to be incredibly cool about everything. Because everyone used to make fun of me for my looks. And now, no one's gonna make fun of cool JJ anymore. Yeah, now nobody's gonna laugh at you. Everybody who does that is a fool. Well, yeah, you're right. So let's go to my place. I think I have, uh, so what? Awkward. Oh, you didn't say what friends you had here. Oh, yeah. That's Mikey and my dad. I don't know what they're doing here. Wow, who's that? I'm sorry, do you have the wrong house? Oh my god, Dad, it's me, JJ. JJ, you've changed so much. Why did you get me so cool? I just went to the gym every day and worked my get so pumped up and cool, now nobody laughs at me. Wow, that's really cool. Well, yeah, now you're really cool. I used to make fun of JJ for being so fat, but now it's so cool. So come on, let's go to my room. I'll show you around. Oh yeah, sure, let's go to your room. And you can keep looking at me enviously because now you can't laugh when you see me. <laughs> so there, JJ? Here's my room. Well, yeah, it's a little, well, it's a kid's room, but I like the style. We have a lot of toys and like, it's cool. Yeah, she looks great. I have to share it with Mikey because he's afraid to sleep alone. So I'm around and nobody scares him like. <laughs> he's afraid to sleep alone. So am I. Maybe I'll stay with you. Well, it's certainly cool. But as you can see, if you get pumped up, you will be successful. So don't waste time and get started. Pump up. Bye, everyone. Oh, my head. Easy, easy. Welcome to our world. What? Take your time. Look around. Good morning. What happened? I don't remember anything. How did I get here? Who am I? It's all very strange, and it looks like I was robbed or something. Why? Where am I? Your name is JJ, and your friend's name is Mikey. Oh, hey, Mikey. I'm your friend. And then, well, I don't know what else to tell you. Wow, it's nice to meet you too, JJ. Welcome to our world. You've been born. Wow, Mikey, do you remember anything? I don't remember anything. What happened? happened to us? What? You don't remember? You were just born, haha. -ha. Were we just born? It's weird. I don't get it, but it's nice what we have together. This is all very suspicious. I think we should get out of here. Yeah, me too. It's pretty dangerous to stay here. Okay, I'm gonna go get some tests, and you stay here, and then I'll take you someplace else where they'll give you some tasty pills. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll be standing here waiting for you. Good for you. You'll get candy for that. Yeah, I love candy. We're looking forward to it. All right, then I'm on my way. Wait for me. I'll be right there. Yeah, yeah, Mikey. I I don't know what's going on here, but it smells really weird. I don't like her either. She's kind of creepy. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's what I think. We should find a way out of here and leave before she comes back. Who knows what kind of candy she was gonna give us. They could be poisoned. What's with all the tests and pills? She's trying to put us on some kind of medication. That's too bad. It's not good. Let's get out of here quietly. Yeah, let's run as fast as we can. The faster, the better. That's a good idea too. Let's go. 
She's coming for us. Hurry up, JJ. Get in there. She doesn't stand a chance of catching up to us. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you going? Stop. What are you doing? God, this is terrible. They'll get lost in there and anything can happen to them. I've got to call the police and report that I've got two kids running away. I'll get in trouble for that. Five minutes later. This looks like our village, but why does everything seem so foreign? I don't get it either. It's like it's the first time we've been here. Maybe we've had memory problems before. I don't know. I definitely remember what I have a memory problem. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, what looks like clouds are gathering. It's gonna rain. Oh, that's not good. It hasn't started raining yet, but the village. Uh, do you remember anything? No, nothing empty. I can't remember anything. It's weird. It's weird what we remember how to say at all. It's like the first time I've been here. Hey, it's cool, but you get to explore new places, and it's cool to see them for the first time. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm always right. Oh, you feel that. Feel what? The rain's getting heavier. We need a place to wait it out. Oh, no. We keep standing in the rain. We'll get wet and sick, and then we'll definitely have to go back to that suspicious hospital. We can't stay here much longer. This isn't the best place to hide. I agree. We need to find something better. Some abandoned house or a barn. Whatever it takes to get out of the rain. Yeah, you're right. Oh, look. Around the corner over there. Oh, there's a fire over there. I saw a couple of old houses. Maybe one of them's vacant. It's worth checking out. Yeah, that's a good idea. I hope this place isn't taken. We need not only shelter, but a place to warm up and dry off. Yes, there's a fire. It's warm and will warm us up quickly, and our clothes will dry quickly around it. It's a good place. What a good thing we found this shelter. It's much better than being outside in the rain. I agree. I was beginning to give up hope that we could find what was suitable. At least now we can get a little dry and warm. I'm so tired. This day has been endless. So much has happened. What feels like I'm running out of energy. Oh, Mikey. Hmm, I guess he fell asleep. Yeah, I'm exhausted too. What I'm gonna do is rest too. The next day. Hey, kid, what are you doing lying down? Get up. It's dangerous to sleep like that. Who? At least we got some sleep. I feel a little better. Good morning, guys. I take it your little break here. Good thing I found you. It's a dangerous place. Good morning. We, uh, we woke up in the hospital. Uh, yeah, it's a long story, but... And we don't remember anything. Yeah, that too, by the way. We got out of there yesterday, and we don't know what to do next. Yeah, we don't remember how we got there at all. We need to find a safe place and figure out what happened to us. I see. It's a difficult situation. Yeah. It's good of you what you did to come to me for help. How about I take you to an orphanage? Hmm, interesting. They'll take care of you, and you can come to your senses. Wow, that sounds cool. Okay, we'll go with you. It's all right. Get in the car. I'll take you there, and there's people there to help you guys. Thank you for what you're doing for us. Well, you shouldn't. It's my job. Get in the car, and we'll go. Okay, anyway. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are lucky. If it wasn't for me, I don't know what would have happened to you. The locals aren't very good with kids, so okay, you gotta go. So what bad things could the locals do to us? You know, they like to kidnap children, so yeah. Oh my god, what monsters do that? Well, you know. All right, kids, we're here. Let's go. This is where you're gonna live now. You got it? Let's not ask any more questions. This is an orphanage, and you have to live here because little kids can't walk the streets unsupervised in case something happens to you. Who will be responsible for that? So everybody, quickly go inside. I have a lot of work to do. Well, Mikey, I guess we really have no other choice. Neither you nor I want to be here, but we have to accept it. I think the two of us can handle it. Yeah, you got that right, kid. All right, let's go. You'll be talking longer. The teacher will come out. You'll meet her, and she'll take you to your room. Is that clear? JJ, I don't like it here. Can't we really get out of here? Everyone here is weird. All right, boys, follow me. This is your guidance counselor, so if you have any questions, just ask her. Hi, boys. Very happy that you will now be in our orphanage. I'm sure you'll make friends with the other boys. Now, I think Mr. Policeman can be excused from his work, don't you? Now you can go up to your room and meet the kids. Look, could we make a deal for you to let us go? Mikey and I can live outside just fine. We don't necessarily need a house. Okay, guys. Stop whining. Come on, boys. It's gonna be okay. There are good kids living here. It's not as bad as you think. Let me walk you to your room if you're shy. You'll get used to living here in no time. We feed you and teach you, so it's almost no different from your home. Mikey, you think there's a catch too? This place doesn't seem safe at all. Maybe if we go to the room, we can calm down and rest. JJ, come quickly. I think we should go up here. Let's go upstairs. My God, I think I'm about to get a headache from the stomping of these kids. They don't stop running at all. How can this be? Come on, Mikey, maybe it really isn't that bad. Now let's meet someone so it won't be so sad. Hey, who are you guys? Are you new here? Didn't they teach you how to greet your elders? Oh, I'm sorry. We were just brought here. My name is JJ. 
and his is Mikey. Could we get to know each other so we won't be so lonely? What do you think? We're here to make friends with you? You think everyone's here for the good life? Don't you realize what kind of place you're in? Well, we'll show you what an orphanage is and what rules must be observed here. Hey, what's going on? We're, we didn't do anything to you. Get away from us. So remember the first rule of this place. All issues and disagreements are to be resolved by brute force only. I'm going to demonstrate this. Hey, stop hitting us. What's going on? You can't do that. Stop it. Oh my God, how much my whole body hurts. I wish I didn't feel anything. Mikey, are you okay? Mikey, hey bro, wake up. JJ, please don't hurt me. I can barely stand on my own two feet as it is. Look, man, I don't think it's cool at all. I mean, we're too weak. If we were a little stronger, we could have fought back against those guys, and we wouldn't be dragging around licking our wounds like stray puppies right now. We could use a little more muscle, a little more mass. Oh, Mikey, look. I think this place is going to make us stronger. Maybe those guys worked out here too so they could beat us. But now we're going to practice and get back at them. Yes, JJ. You are absolutely right. Look at all the stuff in here. We're going to use it all. We're not going to miss a workout. And we're going to be the strongest that those guys are going to be afraid of us. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Four to six days later. Here we go again. The days of training were not in vain. Now Mikey and I look like a mountain of muscle. Nothing and no one can beat us. Now we can go get revenge on those guys who beat us up on our first day in this house. Yes, JJ. The day of vengeance has come. What did they say? All disagreements and misunderstandings can only be resolved by brute force? Then it's time for you to do the same. Come on, I hear they're playing somewhere on this floor right now. Hey guys, we realized we were wrong and we came to talk to you. Why are you so scared? You did the right thing. Serves you right. Hey, what's wrong with you? Stop it. Stop hitting us. We'll tell the teacher and she'll punish you. Ha 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 ha. You're always complaining? You're pathetic. We didn't tell anyone that you were the first ones to start hurting us. Now, you'll remember the new rule. Nobody hits me or Mikey, understand? Brats. Ha ha ha. Mikey, this is so much fun. Now I understand why it's so cool to be the strongest. All right, what's going on here? Mikey and JJ, why are you hurting the boys? You can't do that. Fighting is wrong. Oh my God, you scared them half to death. Teacher, they just came up to us and started beating us up. Punish them! What? You guys were the first ones to pick on us when we first got here. Stop, I don't want to hear anything. And fighting is not allowed here, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave. What? All right, boys, you're on your own now. You can go wherever you want, but from now on, I ask you not to appear within the walls of this prestigious orphanage. I think I've made myself clear. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Like, we loved it here. To make a long story short, Mikey and I were kicked out of the orphanage, even though we didn't do anything against the rules. Now we've just been wandering the streets for three hours and don't know where to go. It would be cool to find a place where we are accepted and not abused. Hmm, JJ, look, there's a gym here. Maybe we should try to get in. Besides, we'll look like locals. At least we'll get out of the rain. Listen, that's a good idea. Let's go. We're all soaked. Maybe we can even get a little exercise to keep in shape. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. All right, come on, let's go. Wow, look how strong that man is. Must be the local trainer. He looks impressive. Hello, we ran away from the orphanage because the teacher threw us out, and we just wanted to get back at the guys who beat us up on our first day. Can we study with you? We have nowhere else to go. Okay, guys, I see you've got it in you to be bodybuilding champions. I'm willing to take you guys to workouts. I think you're gonna make great athletes. Six months later. So it's been six months since we started training with a personal trainer. Mikey and I have become bodybuilding champions and are winning every competition. We get huge cash winnings for our victories and now we could afford a cool house. Look how much stuff there is. I'm even jealous of myself and can't believe everything I'm seeing right now. I even bought myself a car and now it all belongs to me and Mikey, so we don't regret getting kicked out of that stupid orphanage at all. Mikey's up on the second floor playing on his computer. Hey, Mikey, hi. What are you doing? Hey. 
Hey, JJ, I'm investing money to grow my new business of opening gyms around the world. Wow, that sounds really cool. When did you start your own business? Although we have so much money that we can do it at least every day, right? Ha 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 ha. Yes, JJ, you're completely right. Okay, I'll keep working. Don't bother me. Okay, bro, no problems. So there you go, guys. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I'll see you next time. Hi everyone, me and Mikey are going to school today and we're gonna have a lot of boring and uninteresting classes. Oh yeah, we have to sit there and listen to these lectures about history and then there's a lot of math problems to solve. I hope we finish it soon. Yeah, me too. But when we get out of school, we can get a job as someone who gets paid a lot and make millions of dollars to be rich and cool. And here's our school. Remember Mikey, when we first came to this school? Of course I remember. Remember when you and I accidentally bumped into each other in the hallway at first recess and I spilled my juice on your shirt? Oh yes, it was embarrassing, but you immediately offered me your help and we went to the medicine cabinet to try to clean the stain. Oh look, this class never changes. It always says like and subscribe. Maybe it's a special class or something. I don't know. Okay, we gotta get to class. Yeah, I think you're right. It's time to go to class. They're probably waiting for us. It's not like there's still time. I think we'll make it. Yeah, but don't push your luck. It could play badly with us. Come on, oh no. What? Who's there? Oh. And anyway, Opie would what are you guys doing here? Uh, well, we were just going to class. Oh, yeah, you guys don't have any money, do you? We don't have any. Oh, no! Uh, I don't think we have money. We definitely don't have money. My mom won't give me any money. Yeah? What if I find... Uh, no, we're just out. We don't carry money. Don't be ridiculous. Give me your wallet or it'll be worse. Guys, we're really out of money. Why do you want to get in trouble? You'll be in trouble if you don't give back what you have. Look, why don't we make a deal? We don't really have anything of value. Do we have a deal? Ha! Come on, show me your pockets and we'll see. We were just walking around. Seriously. Let's just calmly part ways. You pissed me off. Uh, ouch! Ouch! Take that! Ouch, please! You're hurting me! You'll get until the money comes out of you. Hey, get up. It's okay. Come on, get up. Shh. You're in a lot of pain. Huh? What? Where I can't see anything? Oh, everything hurts. Oh, am I alive? Oh my god, what happened? Are you okay? We met some thugs. They beat us up. Yeah, they just kept up. Oh my god, you guys okay? You need any help? Should we go to the hospital? Uh, no, no. It's just, uh, I just need to sit for a while. Come to your senses. Yeah, now just to catch my breath. That's all. I can't leave you like this. Let me call a cab. Let's go to my place. I have a first aid kit. I can treat your wounds. Oh no, no. Thank you. We're fine. Wow, she's so beautiful and caring. Mikey, have you seen her? She's an angel. Yeah, she was always pretty and thoughtful. Imagine if one of us started dating her. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, that would be fantastic. She's too good. Well, I think I have a better chance. I've been friends with her longer. Hey, what about me? She likes me too. We took a class together the other day. We bonded. Come on, Mikey, are you serious? I'm clearly more sympathetic to her. That's what you think. Maybe it's me she likes. Look, Mikey, let's not fight about this. Why don't we ask her opinion? Ouch, and you're kidding me? Let's not fight and you start hitting me under the table like a rat. She's not gonna date you. You're too foolish for her to date you. You're too stupid to go out with her. Let's see who's gonna go out with her first. Yeah, sure, you don't stand a chance because you've never met anyone. Yeah, we'll see it. Yeah, go ahead and run. I'll give you a head start. He doesn't stand a chance. He's never met a girl. Plus, he's always being rude and stupid, so I'm sure sure I'll win. Yeah, but in the meantime, I have to buy flowers and some other gifts for her and she'll fall in love with me for sure. Three hours later. Hey everybody, check out the bouquet I bought. I finally decided to confess my feelings to the camera woman. I've never met a better girl in my life. To be honest, I'm very nervous to go to her and I have a little desire to go home. But no, I have to do it. Hmm, is she talking to someone? Uh, wait, are you seeing this too? She's standing over there with my Mikey, what is going on? Why is he there? We gotta figure this out. I'm going to go over there and tell him what I think of him. What is that supposed to mean? I made it clear that she's mine. Why then did he think he could come to her with the same bouquet? Mikey, you're gonna have to explain to me what you're doing here. You think you can just do things behind my back? And you've decided that you're the coolest and the best should be yours alone. Hey, why are you hitting me? Have you lost your fear? Shut up, JJ. I'm sick of you thinking you're better than me, so Get out of here! Boys, calm down. You two listen to me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Just because I helped you doesn't mean you can share me like I'm some kind of thing. In fact, I'll only date a strong guy. And you are, to put it mildly, brats, so leave me alone. Wait! Ah, Mikey, this is all your fault! What? Shut up! Did you hear what she said? She'll only date the strongest, so I'll work out. 
and I'll definitely win her over. And you'll end up with nothing because you're a loser. Who? You? Yeah, that's how I believed you. You know, I can pump myself up too. So you've got some serious competition, Mikey. Think 10 times before you compete with me. Well, did you hear him? Decided he could be cooler than me. Well, Mikey, I hear you loud and clear. Guys, right now, write in the comments, who do you think can be the strongest, me or Mikey? But I'm sure you're betting in my favor. So let's get to practicing so Mikey is sure to lose. I'm 100% sure he's not going to do anything at all. And he just said that to scare me. But we know who's a winner here for sure in life. Well, here I am. I hope I can get things done quickly here. I'm a real man now, not a brat like Mikey. Haha, ha, he's gonna cry when he sees me. It's true. The next day. Here I am again. It only took me overnight to make me look so much better and stronger. I'm sure Mikey isn't even awake yet, so I need to get over there and show him my results. He's going to faint when he sees me like this because he probably hasn't started at all. Okay, here's Mikey's house. Well, let's see how he's pumped up, although I don't think there's much to see. Hey man, come on, open up, or are you scared? Ha ha ha, come on, hurry up. What are you doing in there that you won't open the door for me? Or are you really embarrassed to go out? Mikey! What do you want? Stop calling, I'm busy. What the, Mikey? Did you really start working out? I was sure you'd forget about it, and you've been working out as much as I I have. Mikey, that's not fair at all. How could you even do that? You're weak. So what? You've gained mass, but I already told you, you're wrong to think you can be the coolest. Now you can get out of here. I'm about to start training. I don't want you in my way. Yes, of course. You can't beat me anyway. I'm going back to the gym and I'm not coming out until I'm a mountain of muscle. You'll see, Mikey. You'll still be on your knees begging me to spare you when we test which of us is stronger. Sure. Four to six days later. Oh, it's you again. I'm just about done with my workout pulling weights. Wait till I'm done. 998, 999. A thousand. That's it. That's great. Now I can definitely knock Mikey out. I'll start by dropping this barbell somewhere around here. I don't need it anymore. Coach said I'm the strongest guy in town, so my plan to humiliate Mikey will definitely work. Let's go over there and check it out. Yeah. Ha! He managed to get a little pumped up, but he probably figured I wasn't going to keep competing with him anymore and relaxed. But we're gonna change his mind. All right, Mikey, let's get ready before you pass out after one of my punches. Ha ha ha! Or did you still see me through the window and decide to hide in the house pretending to go somewhere? You can't fool me like that, man! Who's in there again? Oh, JJ, it's you again. What are you doing here? Well, no, this can't be happening. I thought you were done training. Why all of a sudden did you think I had to finish them? You kept going to the gym. Why can't I? And you call me unfair? Mikey, I suggest you stop trying. Even if you've built up your muscles, you're still a wimp. You can't beat me. No, JJ, you're starting to annoy me. Please go away if you still don't want to stop thinking you're the best in the world. I have nothing more to say to you. I'll keep practicing. You accuse me of being overly narcissistic, but yourself? Well, then I have nothing to talk to you about either, Mikey. I'll see you after my training and we'll see who's the stronger man. That's it. Let's not waste any more time. We've got to rub it in that upstart's face. Come on! Six months later. Well, here we are, Mikey. The day has come when you'll be finished and you'll finally realize that all your efforts are worthless because I'm the strongest one here and I'm the one who's gonna own the camera woman. No, JJ, you're wrong. This is the day I finally ripped the crown off your head and you stop thinking you're the center of the universe. You're dead, and if you were, you'd just give up and raise the white flag. I hope you brought it with you, because you're gonna lose. If you think so, you can leave first. Let's fight and find out once and for all who is the strongest. But I can say for sure that you will be the one to raise the white flag. Stop pissing me off or there'll be nothing left of this town and you'll be crushed to bits. Oh my god, what's going on here, boys? Is that you? What happened to you and why are you fighting in the middle of town? Stop it now. You're going to break everything. If you don't care about each other, think about the residents. You do realize the damage you're about to do, don't you? Who's going to pay for it? Are you? Hey, can you hear me? I told you to stop fighting. Wait, Mikey, do you hear screaming? Who's that? I don't know, JJ. I haven't heard anything. No, really. Hold on. Someone was screaming. Whoa, is that you, camera woman? Finally, you stopped and paid attention to me. I asked you why you were fighting and what happened to you. 
But you said you were going to date the strongest, so we went to the gym to get pumped up, and now we're fighting to see who's stronger. What? <laughs> you actually believe that? That's what I said to get you off my back. I wasn't going to date any of you. It was a joke. You're both out of my league, and I don't like you. What? Just a joke? You know, JJ, I didn't fight with you so you could make fun of us. I totally agree with you, Mikey. It was a pointless argument. After all, you and I are friends, and we shouldn't be fighting about it. But now we're strong enough to to get our revenge. So throw her somewhere far away from here so no one else dares to break us up. Great idea, Mikey, as always. So where do you want me to put it? Anywhere over there? Out in the woods? So she can't... Hi, everybody. My name is JJ. I play Minecraft while in Minecraft. Pretty cool, huh? I love playing this game. It's the best game ever. What is your best computer game? Write about it in the comments. How easily I deal with these stupid skeletons. It's so nice to play on my super powerful computer. I think I can still play for another 10 hours. Shut up. I hate you. You're the worst man in the world. What's all this yelling. Is that mom yelling at our dad again? You shut up. You oversalted the soup again. I won't take it anymore. Oh my god, what's going on in there? I heard someone breaking dishes. Looks like this time the parents' fight is much more serious than before. I don't like it when they fight. They behave like little children. Even us little kids don't behave like our adult parents. I shouldn't have married such a stupid woman. And you stink all the time. It's disgusting. Oh my god. We need to go and break them up before they break all the dishes in the house. I lived with you for 10 years and I'm just now realizing what a horrible husband you are. I was the best and most patient husband ever. You're the worst wife. I tolerated your scattered socks, your stink, your laziness, etc. all the time. Take and wash my dirty socks, dummy. Oh my god. They've never fought so much. If I disgust you so much, I can get out of here. Then go away. I don't want to see you anymore. I'd love to fulfill your wish. I won't live with you anymore, and we're getting a divorce. I'll be the first one to file for divorce. Mikey, our parents are splitting up. Oh my god, that's too bad. All the best. I hope I never see you again. Get out of here. Finally, there won't be any more stinkers like you in this house. You stupid woman. Ha ha ha. You stupid man. Ha ha ha. How could he do that? Is it hard for him to apologize for everything? Oh my god, our marriage is ruined. Oh my gosh, it sounds like mom's pretty upset about dad. We need to calm her down. We also need to get her to make peace with daddy. Uh, yeah. I don't want to go on living without my dad. Even though he pisses us all off sometimes, we all love him. We need to at least find out the reason why they fought this time. Mom, what happened this time? You've never fought so hard. What did dad do? What did your dad do? He didn't do the dishes. He's too lazy to do it. He never does the dishes at all. Why do I have to do it all the time? Uh, you two got in such a big fight over some dishes. It's not some kind of dish. It's his laziness. He's not helping me at all. He doesn't wash the dishes, doesn't put away his dirty smelly socks, constantly loses the TV remote, doesn't flush the toilet after himself. It's horrible. It's such small things. Stop talking. It's too late. It's time for you to go to bed right now. Uh, where's daddy gonna sleep? I don't care where he sleeps. I don't want to think about him. But we don't want to sleep. I don't care what you want. Sleep, both of you. Oh, apparently mom's still mad after her fight with dad. I don't like this. We have to reconcile them and bring my father back into the family. Uh, I don't think we can do that. So what do you suggest? Just do nothing and accept that we'll never see dad again? That sounds too sad, JJ. I don't know, but it feels like we're never gonna see daddy again. Oh, Mikey, don't you get discouraged. I'll definitely think of something to get mom and dad together again. They said they're getting a divorce. It's no use doing anything, JJ. Uh, good night. Good night, Mikey. He seems pretty upset about the fight, but I'm not just gonna sit around and do nothing. Guys, do your parents fight a lot? Write about it in the comments. It's really time for me to go to bed. The next day. JJ, stop sleeping. Wake up. Uh, Mikey? What do you want? I have a super genius plan to get our mom and dad together. Uh, and what's the plan? We'll make reservations at an expensive restaurant. I'll get mom there, and you get dad there. Then they'll measure up and live together again. Great plan, Mikey. Solid as a Swiss watch. But what makes you think they're gonna match up? Um, well, I've seen in movies how women love expensive restaurants. Would our dad like this restaurant? Uh, yeah. They serve food there. And all men love a good meal. Look, you're right. Let's get daddy to eat. Okay, you know what to do, JJ. Tonight, our parents will love each other again. Okay, let's go. Mikey's so smart. Friends, have you ever been to a restaurant? Write about it in the comments. To eat at a restaurant, you have to give up thousands of dollars. Three hours later. 
Hey, everybody. I already called my dad to the restaurant. I promised him tons of food. But you know, I don't have the money to pay for all this. I think dad has some money. Oh, there's Mikey. Looks like he's already got a table set up with lots of yummy food. Mikey, hi! JJ, hey, you better not scare me like that next time. I'm sorry, Mikey. It's so rich in here. I'm not even used to being here. Just relax. I've already ordered a lot of food. Parents will eat it and they'll be kind. Oh, yeah. The food looks delicious. Mom should be here any minute now. She'll think Dad ordered all this and forgive him. For a meal this good, I'd forgive anyone you ask, Mikey. And I don't think Dad holds that much grudge against our mom. Come on, don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Wow, this place looks so rich. Mom, hi. We're already here. Mom, come here. We've already prepared a table with food for you. Wow, kids. You're so kind and caring. This food costs so much money. Oh, yeah. Mikey will pay for all the food. But where did you get the money from? There's something wrong. Uh, it's nothing like that. We just have a little surprise for you. It's a super duper cool surprise. After saying that, you usually get a bunch of problems from you, not surprises. No, it's gonna be really fun this time. We just have to wait a little longer. Uh, what do I have to wait for? I'm already here. What kind of a restaurant full of majors is this? It's so uncomfortable. Oh, JJ, hi. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing here? JJ invited me here. And Mikey asked me to come here. We invited you here to eat together and make peace with each other. You're so stupid. I told you I don't want to see you anymore. I hate you. Leave me alone. It looks like your plan didn't work, Mikey. Did you really think you'd make it back home? Shut up. I don't want to live with you. Ah, get it? <laughs> How awful you are. Don't you dare throw dishes at me. Ah! This day was bad because I saw you, you freak. For the first time in my life, I agree with you. You've ruined everything again. No, you're the one who ruined everything. I'm the good one, and you're the bad one. You're acting like a small and stupid child. I can get along just fine without you, you stupid, ugly woman. Yeah, I thought things hadn't gone according to plan. Your plan is total nonsense. You should have come up with something better. We didn't even get to eat the food that was brought to us. Did you even pay for that food? Uh, no, I don't have any money at all. I need to come up with a new plan to reconcile our parents. All right, your plans aren't working, Mikey. Now I'm gonna reconcile our parents on my own. Okay, then I'll help you with everything, as long as our mom and dad are together. This restaurant is not cool at all. We should have a picnic outdoors. Oh yeah, everybody loves a picnic. This is going to be very romantic. This time our parents will fall in love again, kiss, and live together like before. And here's the food for our parents. Everybody loves pizza and Coca-Cola. I'd forgive any man in the world for a meal like that. And our parents are definitely going to be a match. All we have to do is get our parents over here. You can't get such great views in a restaurant. The picnic plan should definitely work. Oh yeah, it's a great place for kissing. Oh, by the way, I kissed a beautiful girl in this place. What? Ha 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 ha. Mikey, was that in your dream? No, I really kissed here. Ha ha ha! I'll never believe you, Mikey. That's it. Go get our parents. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on my way. Guys, do you think our parents will match up? Write about it in the comments. And it's time for me to hide so they don't find me. Moments later. Hi, everybody. Do you like picnics? Write about it in the comments. Let's see if our parents love them. Mikey said they'd be here soon. I'm a little worried. What if they fight again? Hey, Mikey, what are you doing in there? Uh, I decided to get a little pizza. What? Actually, it's food for parents only. You can't eat it. Although, Oh, you know, I'd love to eat too. And where are our parents? I'm tired of waiting for them. A little patience, JJ. Did you even invite them here? Maybe we're just sitting here for nothing. Then I'll eat this pizza all the way through. Oh, mommy's here. Wow, what a lovely park. It's been so long since I've walked in such beautiful places. JJ, it's time to hide. They can't see us here. Let's get to the bushes. They won't see us there. This time our plan should definitely work. Uh, I've heard that before, Mikey. Hmm, Mikey called me here. But where is he? Is this his surprise again? Oh, looks like our mom doesn't suspect anything at all. Dad should be here any minute. When she sees him, she'll jump right up to kiss him. By the way, all the dishes in the basket are plastic. They can't break anything. What are you doing here? Are you trying to ruin my night again? What? Actually, I first came here to rest. Stop following me. Think of your games. Think of something more original. Are you saying I'm stupid? Yes, you're a stupid and ugly woman. <laughs> uh, I think our plan is failing again. You, you stink. What? Get it. Now! Ouch, ouch, no. 
Ugh. Oh my god, they're fighting again. What are we gonna do? I don't know. We certainly shouldn't get involved. Oh my god, shouldn't we help break them up? No, that's not a good idea. Nah, take that. I'm stronger than you. Ha ha ha. You're still the same awful man you were, and I thought I'd forgive you. I'll never forgive you. You're incorrigible. You're the one who's incorrigible. How could you lay a hand on a woman? You're not a woman. You're a monster. Bye bye, fool. What? I'm in fool and a monster? You're the one who's fool. This is the second time this dummy has come in and ruined a beautiful evening with my son. Yeah, I guess they're even more pissed at each other this time. Uh, but that's not what we wanted, Mikey. Looks like we'll never measure them. It seems like all our attempts have been really futile. Our family will never be complete again. That's not good. I wanted to play with mom and dad, and now they're gonna hate each other. And they used to love each other very much. Looks like it's past, JJ. Let's go home. I'm really tired today. Let's go! You know reconciling people isn't easy. It's like we're trying to bring strangers together. It's easier for strangers to love each other than it is for mom and dad. You and I tried it, JJ. We failed. It's time to get over it. Maybe daddy will find a new woman and mommy will find a new man. Life doesn't end here. Oh yes, your dinner is delicious, honey. Thank you, darling. I was trying for you. He 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 he. What? They're back together? They made up without us? But how did that work out? Hey, what are you two doing here? Why don't you hate each other. Uh, we just made up, that's all. Yeah, being offended for that long is stupid, you know. Uh, so you wanted to get divorced? Not anymore. We often say that when we fight. So we've been trying to make up for nothing all this time. What? Was that you? Yes, it was us, because we were worried about you two. And they don't care about that at all. Uh, we would have made up on our own without your help. You know I'm sick of this. We're not helping them ever again. Let them apologize to us now for behaving horribly. Yes, now we have a grudge against you two. Understand? Uh, uh, what's going on? You can argue all you want. We won't care. I'm tired. Good night. Uh, good night, Mikey. Uh, oh, he got kind of pissed off after that. The next day. We got too many toys. Oh, uh, what? I'm really tired of putting them in the drawer. It's okay, Mikey. There's only one last toy left. Oh, no. Put it away and let's go play outside. Oh, Mom. You cleaned up? Yeah, we're all cleaned up. All right, let's get to the store. Wow, we're going to the store. And I'm going to buy me a giant cake. Then I'm going to buy me a toy helicopter. Mikey, keep up. I'm coming, I'm coming. And I'm getting a new bed. Wow, well, then I'm going to buy myself a remote control toy race car. Kids, hurry up. Mom, we're running. JJ, hurry up. Yes, we have goodies and toys waiting for us. Honey, is the car ready? Hi, Dad. Hi, Daddy. Hi, yes, the car is ready. Uh, okay, Dad, you got a new car? Yeah, I'm glad you noticed my new purchase. This car is mega cool. I really like it. I'm going to go sit on the left. I like to sit behind the driver. Wow, Mikey. Come on, JJ. Let's go. Daddy, will you buy us a cake? No. Will you buy me a toy helicopter? And a toy car? No, no, and no. Kids, we're going grocery shopping, not toy shopping. What can we buy? Mom, I want my own bed. Mikey, I promise we'll get you a separate bed later. Yay, we're here. Mikey, did you hear that? What? We're not getting any goodies. <gasps> but then why did we come here? We will buy the most common products, no more. Just regular groceries for the house? Oh, no, this is going to be so boring. I think we'll have fun anyway, Mikey. Hmm, I hope so. Hurry up, hurry up. Wow, this store is not as big as I imagined. It's real. Oh, look, there's something weird going on here. JJ, don't bother him. Huh, okay. Kids, the groceries are on the second floor. Mom, we're going to play here. Okay, you're not going to break anything. We won't you? break anything, really. Yay, we're going to play. Yeah. JJ, look, there's an interesting room over it's there. some kind of metal thing. Oh, there's Toilets. What? Toilets? Yeah, you see? Huh, for real. Huh, we definitely need a toilet. Yeah, huh, we're gonna have a private toilet in our room. JJ, it's so white and shiny. The one on the right will be my toilet. Huh, then the one on the left is mine. Nice. Oh, Mikey, there's a TV with a video game console in here. Wow. I'd love to have one of those in my house. Oh, JJ, we're late. Let's go. Yeah, I think our parents are done shopping. Oh, there's no one here. Oh, there they are. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of groceries in mom's hand. As you can see, we've got everything we need. Yeah. All I have to do is pay for my purchases. Yay, we'll have plenty to eat at home. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful woman. Whoa, who's that? Uh, Dad? Honey, what's the matter? Darling, I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Wow, this woman is so beautiful. Mikey, stop admiring. Do you guys know who that was? Hmm. We don't know this woman. <sighs> Mom, don't be mad. We're going to go look and get Daddy here. Oh, well, I'll just stand in line for now and pay for my purchases. Okay, let's go. Dad went after that woman, but why? What's up, JJ? Oh, you are as beautiful as ever. <laughs> I'm here with my family, so let's not stay too Mikey, long. Mikey, let's go back. Why? Follow me. They're coming back. <gasps> okay, okay. I'm coming. Mom, we looked, but it's not his co-worker. Oh, what? Then what was she to him? Honey, sorry for the delay. This is Speaker Woman. We work together. Yes, hello. Very nice to meet you. Oh, so this is your co-worker? Yes, darling. Oh, what? All right, then. I don't care. Oh, well, I'll be off then. Bye-bye.
See you at work. Bye-bye. What's up? In the meantime, I've already paid for everything. Oh, you're the most wonderful thing I've ever seen. Hmm, Mikey, I find that suspicious. It's okay, JJ. Well, anyway, now we have food. That's cool. Yes, I'll cook something special. Mom's gonna make us an awesome dinner, yay? Yay, food! Cool! Well... Oh, Mikey, you never put your toy away. Oh! Why don't you clean that up while Mom makes dinner for us? JJ, uh, I would have cleaned that up earlier, hmm. but I was thinking too much about Dad and that woman. I told you. Guys, Hi. there's no dinner tonight. There's no dinner? It just happened. That's too bad. Breakfast will be great. Okay, Mom, you owe me the best breakfast tomorrow. All right, JJ, I will do that. We love you, kids. Good night. Good night. Oh, today was another beautiful day. Good night. Good night. Oh, what was that? Oh, hmm. Mikey, did you hear that? What happened? Let's go see what that was. Oh, JJ, where are you going? Oh, it's coming from our yard. What are you talking about? Mikey, be quiet. I'm as quiet as possible. Hmm, nothing seems to be happening. Why are we here? Oh. What? Oh, it's Dad. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Oh, uh, where's he going so late? JJ, maybe he went to a business meeting. I don't know, Mikey. But if it's a business meeting, why is he going there so late in the day? That's very suspicious. I agree with you. Well? JJ, let's follow him. Yeah, let's follow him. I'm really curious. Yeah, we'll follow him and catch him off guard. But let's not wake up, Mom. Wait, why? We'll find out on our own. Okay, okay. JJ, I'm gonna grab a couple things. Hurry up, hurry up. Hold on a second. I'll be quick. Uh, okay. I'll stay out of Mikey's business. But he better hurry up or we won't be able to follow our dad. Mikey, where are you? JJ! Hurry up or we won't be able to catch up with daddy. That was a very important action. Uh, okay. JJ, but we can't catch up to him if we walk. It's all right. Do you have a plan? Don't worry. Look what I was able to get for you and me. Wow, that's great. We'll ride these carts all the way to daddy's. Let's go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh, JJ, why are you walking? Well, Mikey, apparently one of the carts is broken. I got the wrong one. I wonder how far dad has traveled. Watch out. Oh, Mikey, let me give you a push. Do it. I'll give you some super speed. Hiya! Whoa, whoa, that's... Speed. Huh, let's go. I want to ride in your cart later, too. Hmm. Oh, slow down. We lost sight of Dad. We got to find him. Don't worry and follow me. I saw where he went. Okay, I'm coming for you. <gasps> Look. That's Dad's car. Whose house is this? I highly doubt this is a work meeting. We're just going to have to see what happens next. Mikey, we need to be quiet and stay out of sight so we don't get noticed. What? <laughs> it's the speaker woman. And Dad's with her. What are they doing together? Is it just me or is Dad cheating on Mom? And that's what we're going to check out. Let's go see what's going on in there. Hurry up and hide behind Daddy's car. Mikey, where are you? Look, what they're doing out there. Is it just me or is she flirting with our dad? They're going to the second floor. We need to see what they're doing up there. You're right. Let's go over there. Mikey, look, our dad's on the bed. Do you have anything to take a picture with? Yes, I've already made them. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here and run home and show mom the pictures and prove that our dad is cheating on her. I don't want him living with us anymore. I don't understand how dad could do that to mom. Mom must be so upset when she finds out. Yeah, Mikey, I know how you feel. We gotta go tell mom. You got the pictures, right? Are you sure we should tell mom? Of course, we shouldn't tolerate it. Here you go then. This is what I managed to take a picture of. Wow, Mikey, the pictures turned out great. I just tried to make sure I could see our daddy on them. And that's it. We need to show these to our mom right away. Then let's run to mom's. She must be in the kitchen making us a meal. We'll tell her everything there. Oh no, ouch. JJ, are you okay? Are you in any pain? I'm fine, don't worry, I just tripped. Hi mom, we have news for you. Yes, it's about our father. Okay kids, first of all, let's sit down and eat. Look what I made today. And then we'll talk about your father, okay? Wow, Mom, that looks so appetizing. Yes, Mom, it's just wonderful, and it smells so good. Thank you. I did my best for you. Sweetheart, kids, hi, everybody, I'm home. Honey, where were you last night? I got called away on a work emergency, so I had to go out. Okay, look what I made today. Let's eat. That's great. I'm so hungry. This looks amazing. You're doing very good. Mom, he's lying. He wasn't at work. Mikey and I know everything. Kids, what are you talking about? Don't make things up. It's you making this up. We're telling the truth. Look, Mom, what Mikey and I photographed. What? This can't be happening. I don't believe it. We realize this is hard for you, but we're telling the truth. Thank you, kids, for telling me the truth. He's not my father anymore. Get the hell out of my house. Now. Hey, don't touch our mom. Get out of here. If I see you here again, I'll beat you up. Do you understand me? Mom, how are you? Don't be so upset with him. He's acting like a poop. Kids, please, leave me. 
I want to be alone. I want to think about what we can do without him. JJ, I feel sorry for our mom. She's so upset. We have to help her. Mikey, I have a plan. We need to get revenge on our father. Do you agree with me? Are you with me or not? Just watch out. It could be dangerous. Of course I'm with you. We're brothers after all. Well done. I never doubted you, brother. But first, we need a room. We need to get something for our revenge. It'll be a surprise for them. And that surprise is in my trunk. JJ, what's the surprise? It's these toys. Are you sure you're with me? <laughs> of course I'm with you. I want revenge on our father as much as you do. I didn't doubt you. Then let's go out on the porch and make our father happy. Yes! Let's hurry up and give the gift to our father. I can't wait for his reaction. All right, then take aim, Mikey, and don't miss. Mikey, are you ready? Attack! <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Did we do the right thing by our cheating father or not? Mikey, let's get out of here before anyone realizes it was us. Okay, I'm on my way. That was so beautiful. I think everyone there loved our gift. I think so too, Mikey. I'm sure our gift was a knockout. I totally agree with you, JJ. 